And good evening, Bridgewater. You're listening to 91.5 WBIMFM, the radio voice of Bridgewater State University. I'm your returning host of Monday Night Mayhem, DJ Dirty Q. Join with me as always are some of the Mayhem crew as we all wait for them to all show up. Introduce yourself to the ones who are here right now. Hi, C. I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> A standing O. Oh. My mic's really low. Uh, yeah. Yo, why does everyone um freak out when there's snow? Like everyone's God, I gotta get my gas. I I gotta get my groceries. I I gotta pull like the wolves might come out and mm, kill nice. us. I saw a coyote the other night. I hear coyotes in my street all the time. It's terrifying. Not really. But don't get a small dog don't get a dog, actually. Did you know that coyotes will um, befriend domestic dogs and then lure them to, like, their den where all the coyotes just eat them? I mean, dogs used to... Dogs came from, like, wolves and stuff like that. Yeah. They just found out that... We ruined them. They, they, they uh... People took them in, fed them, took care of them. They looked nicer, so they groomed themselves from wolves to... Somehow we got, like, poodles and lap dogs out of that, but... Yeah, it's all like, um... Reading. Yeah. We control the forces of evolution. Kind of. Yeah. But, um. Well, stumpy legs. Yeah. Like snuffles on, uh, Rick and Morty. <laughs> Call me Snowball because my fur is white and soft. That was a wild no, episode. No, Rick and Morty. Trailer. That was a wild episode. No? I feel, I feel like, that seems I feel foolish. like everyone in the world that watches Rick and Morty is like. Dude, it's the best thing ever. That's his dude. argument for every show he hasn't watched. He's like, I'm not watching The Office because everybody else has. It's so hype, dude. It's I've a good show. Dude. That's all I can say. It is good. And, and, and people, and, and you can't deny that people with Rick and Morty like think it's like. Jesus oh, Rick and Morty and fandom is terrible. Yeah, but like you, the problem with Rick and Morty is not that people like Rick and Morty; it's that people think you need to be smart to understand Rick and Morty. I hate people. Yeah, and I, really, I, you I, don't. I dislike those people that are like, I, I connect to that show on a scientific level because I'm a genius. It's silly. It's, it's a funny card. Because, like, it makes... So, if you presuppose the uh, the infinite multiverse, right? Yeah. Nothing we do matters. I mean, yeah. You nothing, don't need to be a genius to figure that do. out. The only things that matter to the human race is either improving the quality of living in the human race or extending the lifetime. Yeah, because if you think about it, the only things in the observed universe that care about people is people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, like... If you, if you you have to think about it like that, because if you don't think about it like that, then you're just going to like be like, why am I even a part of life? Oh, yeah. That's my jam, man. That's where I am. Oh, that's where I live. That's a horrible idea, because then you're never going to oh, no, want to succeed in it. Yeah, that's right. It's terrible, because uh, you got to think, we, you gotta think just, closed-minded in that sense. We just fade away and are forgotten. So that was spring break. Oh, it was really fun. I, I got a lot of sleep. Hey, Stampede, break. you want to do me a huge favor? What up? And, like, shut the light off over here. So I want to sure. see what this room looks like with that cool ball thing we have over there. We got a new light, and it's making the ceiling. Yeah, I feel like we have a new light, like, every week now. It's just uh, random yeah. lights. Oh, being... yeah. Oh, it's cool over here now. Oh, it's like one switch do half. That's weird. This light, this switch does these lights. That's weird. I don't like that. And that one My does face that. is blue. It's really cool with all the moth. Cody's blue. It's like... I'm now green. We got a whole thing going over here. It's bright enough where it's not dark, but it's dark enough that it's dark, you know? Is Mikey D coming in? He should be. I think the show before us tried to play with it, but they didn't have the extension cords. Uh, that's fair. Oh, it's slow now. Yeah, it's like not going to give you a seizure because it's not like strobe light. Yeah. Yo, Tommy, I checked out Joe Rogan's Triggered special. Pretty funny. Triggered, I, it's it, a great It special. was weird because I've never seen him like dude, that. Dude, his podcasts and his specials are so different. Oh, my. Dude, with that gargoyle stuff, like. The, I didn't like the end. The, the, the that was a weird, weird ending. But, like, like, everything before that was, that was great. Was Wait, funny. I know what you guys are talking about, but for the listeners, what gargoyle thing? Uh, yeah, Joe Rogan yeah. Triggered. It's a whole, uh, Joe, you know Joe Rogan? Comedian slash podcast guy. From Boston. Fear Factor. No, I don't. Yeah. Um, no. Okay. But uh, <laughs> he started out in Fear Factor. He's a comedian. He's kind of, he's made his fame now on doing just podcasts, which are very good. 
but um, he's, very, he's very he's very understanding and he doesn't really interview the person. He more like more or less just like talks with them. He's super chill. He's super chill on he, his um, podcast, but he's nuts in his specials. Yeah, he is, he's sick. insane. He's I'll so check him out. But my, my, I look up uh, triggered. He has two specials on Netflix. Once from like oh six, which isn't probably not. Funny. It's because not is relevant. But like <laughs> the trigger one was great. My favorite part was the uh, the Texas one. He's like. We all came from the East Coast, stubborn ones stayed, the smart yeah. ones went to California. We, we lost a few people, yeah, and did. they just stayed in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say what else he said. No. I mean, it was great. Great. But, uh, oh, we got a call. Oh, we got a caller. My I, guest is Mike D. I highly recommend checking out the Anthony Jeselnik. Uh, Anthony Jeselnik? He's a, like a comedian. He's, he's dark. He's so, like, all. he's just like joke after joke after joke, and it's just like... Oh, I'm gonna joke about this tragedy, and it's just like funny because it's like I've never heard somebody be that dark before. Mm-hmm. But he just doesn't care. I love it. Yeah, I like dark. Dark is yeah. He's <laughs> just just reality. Is it is dark. Like the universe is so empty. Yeah, I mean, and light, vast. Technically, light is just an illusion, right? Yeah. So what do you think? So time, right? Time is something that happens to matter. Yeah, I mean, it's a so that was uh, concept, that was crazy chicken lady calling well, in for the first time in a while. Really? Oh said, yeah. She, she said, said she, she found the sweater was done. She said she uh, does has done a crazy amount of research and has found the right way to bo- do a hard boiled egg. Ten so minutes. she was wrong. Turns first. out you put it in the oven, and we both couldn't. We were, we were both kind of like, "What?" And she was like, "Yup, yup, bye," and hung put up. It, put it in so, the oven. Yeah, put it in the oven. I don't know for how long. <laughs> But uh, Crazy Chicken Lady has recanted her statement of beforehand. It's now the proper way to do a hard-boiled egg. So shout out Crazy Chicken Lady. Okay, so. so I know what you guys are talking about, but for the listeners, what is the story of Crazy Chicken Lady? All right. So a lot of chickens. Uh, legend has it. <laughs> That's it? That, um, she's growing more. When, she's growing them? When, yeah, she's uh, incubating. Whatever higher power created chickens, um, this, this woman came along. <laughs> and um, just kind of just started collecting chickens, you know? Hatched a few, has a bunch in her backyard. Uh, uh, along the way, she lost a few when brain cells, she got crazy. From chicken, chicken lady to chicken god. She's crazy chicken lady. She's, uh, I know, but do you think Khaleesi, she's Khaleesi, chicken god? Mother of chickens. I feel like when she hatches enough of these new chickens in the incubator, that she's able to just That's create a... them on her own. She have an army of chickens. Dude. Yeah. I'm but, sure these uh, are yeah, basically so, tiny dinosaurs. So uh, one day, me and Heisty were doing our Wednesday show, and a uh, crazy chicken lady calls in and brings up the point of the perfect way to boil a hard, uh, do a hard-boiled egg. She gave her take. We had um, for like ten minutes or something. Yeah, something like that. And then uh, what, what, what's his name from California calling? It's a, it's a thirty seconds flat it's or something. Three seconds. Thirty seconds. Flat. Three yeah. seconds. Three seconds flat. And then we had Trevor. And Trevor from whatever. Said Trevor six minutes to cook. Yeah. Eight minutes in total to eat. Yeah. So, we had Curry. a bunch of different takes on hard boiled eggs that day. And now Crazy Chicken Lee is called back to, to say. Oh, we, my dad also said. Yeah. What, what did he say? Like seven minutes or something. He had some. I think that was he had, the most he had, bad time. Besides chicken, Crazy Chicken Lee's original statement, he had like one of the more. I think it was ten minutes to cook or something like that. Yeah, it, it made sense. Yeah. I feel like six minutes for Trevor. I trust his word, but I feel like six minutes is not enough. I'm still. Sca- I, I, I'm open to the three second method. I'm not. I think that you never know, man. It's just crazy enough to work. Why don't we put no. up a poll? Why don't we put up a poll? All right. Twitter. We're going to put up how, a poll on how Twitter. How long do you think you should boil your eggs? <laughs> Three seconds. Three seconds. Uh, six six minutes. minutes. Ten minutes. Or the oven. Hold on. <laughs> yes. I, went, I went on a little brain journey while you were talking about that. What? what three minutes? Three seconds? Ten no, minutes? No, no, no. Three seconds. Three, three seconds. Six minutes. Uh, minutes. ten minutes in the oven. <laughs> the oven. Just throw it in the oven. Yeah, put that up on a Twitter poll. Go yeah. vote. I'm gonna. I'm just Nobody. gonna put it in a word document. Everybody. <laughs> so how, how many votes do you guys think we get? How many votes did we get on our last one? Uh, um, six. It was four against and two <laughs> four. <laughs> so, me, you, Dirty Q, we're off from Texas. I'm pretty sure the Mayhem Sasquatch voted too. Okay, so it's five. For those of you who aren't following no, us good. on Twitter, uh, it's ideal. WBIM Mayhem. Go t- uh, answer our Twitter poll and tell us how long we need to cook our egg. We're uh, kind of maybe briefly 
Uh, Mrs. Joe Dart's mom endorsed. So we have that for all these don't know. Who? Joe Dart is the bass player for Wolf Packers. His mom liked oh, one of our okay. tweets. So she liked liked one of your tweets. Uh, uh, man, uh, the Sasquatch tweets about uh, Wolf Pack. Oh wow! So that's, that, that's just, that, that is mean, a that's, <laughs> that's not a, that's not a step in the right direction. That's like the step a leap in the right direction. Dude, that's I I don't think that's a leap. In, I think we're just there. I think yeah. we've won. Like you see that trash can over there. A step would be like from here. What other radio like station there. at this school has had a bigger shout out than that, or bigger connection than that? No one. Um, no. No. Nope. Okay. How do you guys feel about this wording? How long do you need to cook the perfect egg? Hard boiled no, egg. Hard. It matters. The perfect hard boiled egg. Yeah. So three seconds, six minutes. No, eight. What was it? Six minutes. Wait, you, Ten wait, minutes, and just throw that in the boil. Oven. You're not cooking. You're, you're hard boiled egg. Yeah. Yeah. How long? How long? Apparently, you're throwing one in the oven now. According to the. All right. Do how long do you need to chickens? boil the perfect hard boiled egg? Yeah. Yes. I agree. Do you think Crazy Chicken Lady just uh, accidentally typed broil? Uh, no, she knows her stuff. She knows, dude. She's Don't stuck. question the crazy well, chicken lady. I've never she, met somebody you, that knows more about chicken. You just said no. she had to Google it. I never said that. Well, she's done research, dude. Yeah, she did research, research, yeah. Books. Oh, she maybe it was a first Maybe research. she threw an what egg in the What was the nature in, of your research, uh, Probably hard boiled egg. <laughs> or, just, or she just threw an egg in the oven one day and it worked. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Experiments. You yeah. got your egg in my oven. She had an hy- hy- hypothesis and it was wrong. Yes. Is it up? It's going up right now. All right, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> well, but, um, everybody just got real. Yeah, so uh, I, I, well, I think we got cut off in the middle of Stampede, saying he slept a lot during spring break. But how's everybody's spring break? Mm. It's good. I got a lot of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> About you, High C. Uh, I went. Me and you went to the science museum. Yeah, me and High C went to the uh, science museum on Tuesday. My brother's getting like married did. there we didn't, we at did. the end of the month. Yeah, remember we saw a sign. Is for that a ma- real thing? Yeah, we saw a sign for weddings. Wait, that'd be hilarious. And Stampede's Wait, whoa, brother's whoa, whoa. getting married. Why, why is he getting married there? Because knowledge is power. Yeah. Also, his fiance is a biology teacher. Oh, okay, so it's like a theme. They should. Uh, they should get married in the uh, mirror maze. That would be <laughs> to get. Is to that like, a thing? The Matt mirror maze. Peter, can you get married in the mirror maze? The mirror maze. Tweet at me us. W B I M Mayhem on Twitter. To complete Twitter. your like. They're not listening. Your vows. You have to find each other. Like, I don't How know. long should I make this poll for? I can do a day. Three I could days. do the longest amount of time. Seven days. No, I don't want to no, wait. No, I do long. a day. Seven <laughs> days. I don't want to wait that long. Um, and eleven hours. How many followers have you got now? Like twenty. We have nineteen followers. Dude, don't so like that. I, I, next, <laughs> I, I, I gave the over. <laughs> Always next, give the over. Next person to uh, like our Twitter will be our twentieth follower, and you will win a prize. Whatever is in Mark's bag. You'll win yeah. something. Yay! That's a serious thing, too. You'll yeah. actually win a prize. No, seriously. You claim it. No, yeah. Like us come. on Twitter. We're not coming to you. You have to come here. And yeah. Play. Tweet us on Twitter as our 20th follower. Follow so, us like, and tweet at us. It's and bad you'll win for a prize. Rob from Texas, who's a very dedicated fan, but any prize that he wins, he just can't get because well, he's in Texas. But he's yeah, I'm not going to Texas. So Posted no, is like 40 cents. But if he, if he wins a, uh, an award... That we ever, if we ever decide to do something like that, I'm we, sorry, we're doing something like that. Can I vote on my own? I think if we got a really big slingshot, we could get Texas. Yeah, I feel like we got a cannon. I think it would kill you. I think slingshots a little Child. What about like? <laughs> Let's be serious, Dirty mm-hmm. Q. You need like a cannon or something for grown-ups. Yeah, you do. Catapults are pretty cool. Slingshot. What are you, Bart Simpson? He just drops a Simpson. Reference. I'm cool with my. He's cool, dude. I Carumba. Okay. Uh, See, I don't know what it's like to be lost in the jungles of Vietnam, but I imagine it's very similar to what I experienced that mirror maze. That was a. Like, mad times, I like had my hands up looking for an entrance, and saw a person I'm like, oh, they're right there, and they just weren't. We saw a person crying. Is it? They were just sitting there down crying. Like, I have I'm in the mirror in maze. Like, I don't even believe in this maze. Like, LBJ put me here. I gotta get out of here. You're like, here for nothing's so real. Just yelling. And the but, guys pulled a switch up on us and switched at the last second. Yeah, that was brutal. They, we got out of there though. Wait, so do we actually beat it and they switched, or do we actually just end up back? The no, entrance? no. We ended up back at the entrance, yeah. but they switched before we ended up back there. So yep. then it was like, no, this is the entrance. But it was, that was crazy. That was a, that was a mind warp in itself. The planetarium, though. That was, that was, that cool. was nice. I want to go back there and see a different one. Yeah. I want to, like, 
exploring the universe. I want to see that one. That That'd be cool. Chill. Not the Big Bird one. I hope the Big Bird would be wild. <laughs> that would be a weird experience. Either it would be a kid one, or it would just be nuts. They'd be, they'd be like, this is what Big Bird does offset. It would be like, just, like the inside look of Big Bird's like meth addiction. For yeah, it's just, just doing uh, That's it. so weird. I was just about to say the words, if you want to call in and free me from this hell, well, I got, I, it's 508-531-1303. Why is this hell? Planetarium is sick. <laughs> um, oh, because I really wanted to say something. Go ahead. So, Einstein's theory was that Time started when the Bing Bang happened. Yeah, I right? mean... Because time is linked to matter. So time is a property that matter has. Because if you think about it, time does not warp space, but how matter moves in space. I agree with that, yeah. I mean, yeah, so time is a... Matters, I agree with it, but... Time is an aspect of matter. We need, like, but a real But time physicist. was never a... Th- re- like... Well, time, time... Time wasn't a concept until we made it a concept. Right, but time has actual... We're keeping track of it, at least. But matter has real, actual, like... Uh, like, it can affect properties of time. Yeah. It, yeah like, I, the faster something moves, the slower time moves around it, yeah, like the yeah. atomic clock theory. Yeah, I, I agree. So time is real. It's not just a you theory. You know that experiment where the two guys, or three guys, went around the world in planes with atomic clocks, and they all were different? The twin clock theory, yeah. Yeah. So they had one clock on the ground and then one in orbit around space. And when it came back, the clock that was in orbit was slower because time moves slower the faster you move to the speed of light. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So time, time isn't just... I don't know just, if it makes sense to our listeners. It's not just like a name. It's not like gender. It's not like a construct. Like, time exists. That was Rob from Texas with a colleague, um, Abby from Texas, right. saying that 12 minutes is the time, but we already made the poll, so... Just throw a thing. 12, like, Twelve minutes isn't that much different than ten, though. Like that's like 120 seconds. No, let me tell you how it is different. <laughs> all right, how many times have you boiled an egg? I eat hard-boiled eggs all the time. Do you make them? Yeah. Hey, uh, we. What do you think problem. I find them? Chrome is not on here. I don't know what to do anymore. Dude, it's a snowstorm. Well, are you all, Internet Explorer? I like, use down. Firefox. I used Internet Explorer, but then. I'm gonna uh, internet I mean, not explore. successfully. I haven't gone to Chrome. Can I do that? Dude, you gotta do Study Island. Internet study Island, dude? If I found my password, I would destroy my, like, <laughs> times is, table scores. You think they'd, like, sing your college I feel like if I was like, hey, if I'm a dude <laughs> trying to get to Study Island, who's gonna turn me away? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, so the thing about 12 minutes is that your egg continues to cook unless you um, run it under cold water. I'm just saying, I feel like 10 and 12 minutes, like, you could get away with either of those. All right. Well, somebody already voted for 10 minutes. It was probably Rob from Texas. Shout out to you, Rob from Texas. If you have a friend, follow us on Twitter. They will win our prize. It's a nuts prize. It's a crazy, insane prize. It may or may not be Shrek 2 on DVD. Yo, don't tell them. (laughs) He said it may or may not, which is all the options that it could be. Yeah. Take it easy. Um, he also, Rob Tex also wanted to ask who we have for March Madness brackets. I have 10. Uh, I'm, I have I'm in a bracket now. I have no idea who's who, which might actually be better for me. I have so Colin I Kaepernick. Pick any, That's any weird. updates? <laughs> I don't think he's going to win. <laughs> I, th- I have Duke because I know a lot of people hate Duke and hate Grayson Allen on Duke. So I want to pick them just because uh, of what country this bracket is. I want to pick, like, I have the Monstars from Space Jam. I mean, until they lose. Yeah, twenty. It's a bad bet. Not every year. They only play one year. They played like one. Right, game. but if they play again They're this year, one. they'll win. They have, the, they have the same, basically the same record as the. Washington the only Jets. reason they lost was because Michael Jordan had uh, Looney Tune World powers and could stretch his arms. It was okay, the only they thing have. Are we downplaying the con- the contributions of Bill Murray and Newman from Seinfeld? Bill Murray made the best pass anyone's ever made. Yeah. And Newman was a spy, and they were like, "Hey, here's water." And Bugs is like, I know it's water, but I'm going to, you know. Jordan's secret stuff. Wait, what do they call it? I think it was his special stuff. Uh, that's something. I don't know. I don't. Oh, it was I'm Michael's. Confused. I don't want to play my play of how it works. I want to see an actual brack shout. Shout Michael. out to the Irish. Uh, crazy my- chicken lady says. Michael. Shout out to the Irish. Shout, shout out. out. To all of the Irish? I mean, St. Patty's Day, we're, this is our oh, last show. Hi, 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 hi. 
a, a weird shout out, but I'll shout out to the oh, Irish. Oh, are you guys going out for St. Patrick's Day? I, don't I really, am. I don't really want to go on the tea and go to Boston. So no. I'm going Dude, bonkers. Does that matter in Boston on St. Patty's Day? Hold on, hold on. Oh, it kind of does. I know a lot of people that go there. And you just got to go to a... I'm not advocating for underage I, drinking. Oh, me neither. But I'm saying people go on the tea. But, people will just pee on the tea. People, bars, dude. I know. What so that? people like pee on it. They just pee on like the seats and stuff. It's disgusting. Shout out to the Irish. Shout out. We're like the Ireland doesn't even Ireland only holds St. Patty's Day because Americans. Hold oh, it. oh, we have a second vote. Uh, it's for six minutes. It wasn't me, so. <laughs> Nobody voted for the oven yet, chicken lady. So you got to get on Twitter and follow us on Twitter, WBIM Mayhem at Twitter. I might vote for the oven because who knows? We, nobody's done yeah. it. Have you done it? That doesn't answer the question. I'm voting for the oven. It might be true, I but it also it might bread. not be. Give me a okay, it's a 50 50, dude. Either, 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 either. No, we already did this. Two options does not mean 50 50 chance. Any of those have 50 50s, dude. No. They, <laughs> they either are options. the best or they aren't the best. That's if you flip a coin 3,000 times, it has a 50% chance of letting on heads half of those times. Somebody free me from this hell. Call in. It's 508-531-1303. And also follow us on Facebook at WBIM Mayhem. We don't have a Snapchat yet, but follow us on Snapchat, WBIM Mayhem. So I'm going to do something risky and try to get that there was a firefight scene for the Boondock Saints, but try to edit out. There's like three oh, bad else. things Willem Dafoe says before. I just I mean, want to hear him yell. That was I just want to say I'm going to do something risky on the snap. Well, I was thinking um, because we did a two break episode last week and it actually edited really well. I'm talking about editing out bad words. So if we do, well, I'm thinking, <laughs> so we did half an hour. Then we did yeah, a 15 a minute break. That's a risk. Then we did a half an hour and a 15 Hold minute up. break. Then we did half an hour. Oh, I saw him say it. We're okay. I think. Nope, nope, nope. There's one more. All right, dude. You're really... I feel like you're really risking it for, for not that much payoff here. Uh, that was a firefight! Got it. Nailed it. I'm a champ. Great now, scene. Best scene. The there are three season. votes. Two votes for six minutes and wow. one vote for ten minutes. Again, vote on our Twitter at WBIM Mayhem. I should have put a hashtag in. We would have got way more exposure. Oh, we got to get Bridgewater State to follow us. Follow us back. We should uh, just we should harass the Bridgewater State account until they just block us. <laughs> I don't care. Good idea. No, I did tweet out BSU them. life, and uh, I did see us on the page for a brief minute in time. That was good. I was happy to see us up there. I saw a head. Is that Mikey D? Mikey D. Oh, is it the is. Did you guys hear the oncoming storm? All the reveal oh. of El Diablo, the illustrious the Bobcat Michael D. With Doc Delgado. He ain't coming. Hey, why not? He's on special Delgado work. He says he has something he couldn't, couldn't miss. All right, all right. I thought it'd be this, okay. but it's okay. Sweatshirt, I'm representing two things tonight. Well, that's my granddaughter's school she goes to. Okay. Mary E. Baker, Bobcats. Yeah, that's her nickname, Bobcats. Love it. I like that kindergarten, K-4 or whatever it is, have nicknames now. At least it's wildlife. Of course. Oh, our second reveal. Oh. Ah! G&R. G&R. Gotta have them. I'm representing Eddie and the boys tonight, so... Mikey, put your shirt back on. Hey, so when's that album coming out? I know it's gonna be a while yet. What? Uh, ACDC with uh, Axel on lead vocals. I have no idea. I know uh, we're gonna hear a lot of talk about it. I can't wait to hear it. What a pal he is jumping in because uh, Mr. Johnson couldn't perform. I mean, talk about taking a bullet for the band, right? <laughs> yep. Wow, that was a nice bird. <laughs> Thanks, bro. So, Jess, what's cooking? Nothing much. What, Mikey? Trying to cook an egg, Mikey D. Wait, wait, wait. I, I've been listening to on my way over here. How the freak can you cook any egg? Three seconds. Well, that's the whole point. Brain idea is that? It's a dark horse decision. You never know, man. Three seconds. You put it for three seconds. Did you they, did they for think? Seconds. Did they What's think? Happen? Nothing. Did the boys think when they got inside that massive wooden horse that they would actually take the city of Troy? Probably. Did they, they though? They had a good. There was probably that guy. Like, this is a stupid idea. How we got, as Mikey D said, how the frig are you going to take over the city of Troy in a wooden horse? And you, guess what happens? That's guess like what city was taken the next day? That's like comparing wooden horses to eggs. It's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> three, three seconds. 
What about the oven? Lasers. You're not even mad about the oven option? Oh, oh I heard uh, very little of that. What's going on with the oven option? Uh, some crazy chicken lady called in and said, you got to boil eggs in the oven. I can't believe you don't boil listen to our show, oven. Mikey D. Probably take a while. Probably quicker if you boil them. I mean, on top of the stove. I, I feel like I don't Fry them up. Three right. seconds. Oh, wait. You fry it or boil it? Hard boil. We're trying to hard boil. You I, can't even minus... Soft boil egg for three seconds. What's this? How did this three seconds? You guys are into playing the uh, secret dark horse of the George Foreman grill. You ever know what those things? George Foreman's are crap. Hey man, they yeah. are. So um, I know we we're talking about St. Valley's Day and Braveheart was about the Scottish, but um, we're both on the Braveheart theme because there was an Irish guy. Oh, yeah, the, the dude from The Departed was the, one of the Irish dudes in Braveheart, so it's all good. But uh. Yeah. Yeah. So we're I'll, here. I'll have to try that. Hard boiling get, egg. Get, get, get uh, what do you call it? Boil some water. Or once it starts boiling, drop it in for three seconds. You but, might you might get a similar result of what I got on the Super Bowl. Yeah, raw <laughs> eggs. Shell it off, that's all. <laughs> so whose who's idea that? Was the chicken lady? No, nah, chicken lady oh, said oh, oh, uh, oh. throw it in the oven. Uh, the crazy dude from California s- suggested that three seconds would be adequate for a hard boiled egg. Uh, the guy from California has been sitting in the beaches too long out in Southern Cal, I think. Yeah. yeah. They don't got a lot of water out there. Like, they're just... Yeah, it's they're going on. Like, so my still. mom voted. Shout out to you, mom. My uh, your, Pistol in, Pete said you voted, so... Voted for what? I think that's it. I think that makes up our three votes then. That's oh, fine. there's a Twitter poll going on so right now. So two of our people's parents. For how hey, to cook my an dad egg. made a Twitter just... No, I respect hey, listen, it, dude. Throughout the years, I've made... I used to boil a bunch of eggs in a pan, you know, in a soft yeah. pan... And then next few days, you got egg salad sandwich. That's what Mikey D calls a hot shower. What, boiled eggs? Yeah. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> what the? What do you mean? I don't understand that. It doesn't matter. Hey, the audience what, loved it. What's with this music in the background? Somebody keeling over? Braveheart. Oh, okay. So, yes. St. <laughs> Paddy's Day, even though they're Scottish, but there's that one Irish dude. St. Paddy's Day coming up when? Uh, this weekend. I think. Do you guys, do you guys remember that Game of Thrones joke I made like four weeks ago? No, no, that was four Fuck, weeks I don't ago. Remember what you no? said five seconds. Ago. You guys don't remember that joke. Last time well, we're able to the two North weeks. remembers. For, for what reference though? Like, can we cut his mic with a pair of scissors? <laughs> you could physically do oh, that. Uh, I and, could and physically you just move and, over and to yours. Lecture on the dr- way over here. <laughs> Reverend uh, Stampedius Erectus, given his. Uh, w- what makes me Erectus? What do you call it, uh, oh, Mark? His, uh, his 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 uh, lecture on time. Oh, uh, we were having a conversation. Yeah, I heard time. that. I heard that. Yeah. I know for some reason. What do you think, Mikey D? Mikey you think D. time you is? Know what, you, know, you know what that got me? What? Listen to you. Not erectus, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, it reminded me of a song, "Time" by the Chambers Brothers. Look it up. I say play. "Time" by Pink Floyd. No, but, uh, "Time Has Come Today" or something like that. Chambers I like that Brothers. song that goes "Time, time, everywhere, time." That's how that goes. It's a sign. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> who hurt you today? Five man electrical, <laughs> five man electrical band. If I can remember right, I have no idea. Yeah, I'll say uh, yes. Chambers Brothers, time. Look it up, uh, maybe before the show went. Oh, we got a fourth vote. Now it's tied. Six minutes and ten minutes. Fifty fifty percent. You know we get a lot of votes. Who we, get, we get to announce every vote who is, we get. Who is, uh, I don't. It doesn't tell me who voted. Imagine but we uh, announce every vote in the they presidential go election. Second eight. Uh, no, Brutal. two people so far. Just get some auctioneer guy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. So, guys, uh, since we've last seen each other two weeks ago, what's been going on? Nothing should. Yeah, Me and I see went to the Science Museum. Boss knows better. Yeah, yeah, I heard that mentioned over the airways moments ago. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been to that place, I think, a field trip. Mike Jun- Junior in high school. Mikey D, you got to go to the... Planetarium, you got to go there. It's Benjamin, phenomenal. Like I said, what? Uh, it's but, still called, isn't that the Hayden Planetarium yes. or something like that? But you got to see the new shows. They're yeah. wild. Well, well, we, like we said, were last time I was there was like 44 years ago. We, we were, were on me? Pluto for a few minutes there. We were. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. They uh, have the a new horizon. drone out there. When we, when we first sat down, you know, as kids, yeah. the place would darken up, and you'd see the whole uh, skyline at night of Boston. Yeah, it was dope. <laughs> we also found out how to power Boston. With a clean energy. 
Uh, we got clean. to work, bro. I got to work. It wasn't clean energy, really. Bro, no, no. I got we're, to work. We're using fossil fuels. Our, nah. our economic, not economic, guess what environmental now. impact was oh, in the was in like the, can I, the can, bright yellow. Can I guess on that one? Yeah. To energize uh, Boston. Clean we energy. had six things. Like, it was fossil fuels, nuclear energy, okay. and hydrogen? Or hyd- okay, let's, uh, two uh, items here. Humans, consumption of uh, baked beans. <laughs> oh, wow. It, it could work. You know? You know <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sure it would work you know, all humans, right. You know humans can be used as fuel, though, if you burn them and they're dead after they're dead? What? Yeah, they, it's, a, it's actually really good to say that fuel. again. What did you say? If you burn, like, a, a dead yeah, a dead person, like, right. they're actually a very good source of fuel, apparently, and you'll never run out because you're always going to have humans. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, oh, and, but humans people are always going to die. Sure. But you, you'll you also always have trees. Yeah, but no, but trees can run out much quicker. But you could burn anything. So that was the uh, yeah, but great friend not? and a fellow DJ, DJ Pizza Dog, calling in, Pizza saying doggy. he's on his way to Cumbies right now getting some coffee, oh. which is a perfect segue to plug. Cumbies 104 or Cumbies? I don't know. Center, probably but Center Town. Probably perfect Center way to plug Town. White Grapes Black Coffee, oh, oh. DJ Pizza Dog Show. Check that out on, um, was it Wednesdays, 7 to 9. I believe dancing guys on that sometimes. Oh. It's a great show. Hey. You just reminded me about uh, Cumberland Fox. That's what I had to ask you guys about. All right. Q Man. Yeah. I was here this morning having my coffee. I, get, I go there quite often now, especially the past over a week. They're running that thing there where all coffee is free. Yeah, we went the other day and it was free. I'm going there like every other morning getting a free uh, morning brew. There you go. All right. Talking to a couple of uh, people up there that work. A young lady named Sonny and a guy named Joe. Good friends of mine. Since I'm associated with BIM, they want to know if you can send or somebody, maybe Dan, the manager, yeah, go talk to them, the one at Bridgewater Center, okay, about uh, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what do you call it when you're on? You get the show going elsewhere off campus. Like yeah, they maybe, want to play it in Cumbies or something uh, to represent. I'll plug Cumbies. I go to Cumbies yeah, all co- yeah. No, because they, I uh, love how they, how they uh, were shut down for a few months. Yeah, they, they were up. like renovating. Yeah, yeah, and uh, there's your grand opening. They want to get somebody there uh, to, to D- help. Oh, DJ? I don't know about DJ, but uh, to promote. Do yeah, some pro- oh, yeah. do some promotion. Well, I go. Yeah. I'll be out there tonight. Absolutely. So, Check it uh, out. what do you call it when you're on campus and you do a radio show on campus? Other than here, you know, like live feed. Sure. Is that Ooh, what it's called? Live feed, like that? Live. live feed incumbents? <laughs> or something wild. like that. Yeah, well, I, I mentioned that to them, but they said something about a promotion with BIM. Yeah. Can you send someone down to talk to them early in the morning or early day while they're there? They can get something going with that, BIM. Look at that, yeah. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Just, yeah. In the snack aisle. Yeah, like a promotion. <laughs> a promotion of something to do with BIM. I wanted. To, I'd be down to the last. Yeah, so I doubt they would. This is also a good segue, and Pete Stug also requested a song as well. So we can segue this through our music break. We can discuss. Yeah. I don't know what to talk about. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, he requested Come See About Me by Diana Ross. So uh, yeah. we're going to play some of that. And uh, shout out pizza again. Check out White Grapes Black Coffee Wednesdays 7 to 9. Oh, we got another vote. Here we go. All right. If you want to call in, talk about stuff or other stuff, do so <laughs> at 508 508- Five three one one three zero three again. That is five zero eight five three one one three zero three. We'll be back in a few minutes. All right, Stan P has something to say. This is an unexpected um, turn of events. Uh, Tracy wanted to know what we were voting on, so I directed her toward the Twitter, and she just uh, followed us, making her wow, a just followed us? follower. Thanks, Tracy. Whatever. Go to. But second. that means and she. And I see furious. <laughs> the light turned red as he did. The and captain is uh, sailing for deeper. A seas. few shoutouts. Oh yeah. Oh, we're as back usual. in a few.